When you're making chocolate chip cookies, and if you're packing your flour in and using cheap, waxy chocolate, you're doing it all wrong. Everybody loves making chocolate chip cookies, but most of the time they don't turn out so well. They're flat, they're raw, they're burnt. Here are a few easy rules to follow so that you can have that perfect cookie every single time in your home. So you want to make a chocolate chip cookie. You're going to go to your refrigerator, grab that cold butter, cold eggs, and you're going to try to make your dough. Your dough is not going to be even, and when you put it in the oven, you might have butter melting out, you might have holes in your cookie, the chocolate might be all over the place. You never know what's going to happen. You need to make sure that your butter and eggs are room temperature so that all of your ingredients will be mixed together harmoniously. That way, your cookie is going to be perfect, nice, dense cookie that you're looking for. So the most common mistake that I see is people measuring the flour on. People scoop up the flour and then they tap it on the counter like you're making espresso. So you're not a barista. That's going to get you a dry, crumbly cookie and you're not going to be happy. So what you want to use is the scoop and sweep method. Get your flour bag, dump it into a bowl, whisk it a couple times, and then scoop it up and sweep it with a palette knife. That way it's going to be consistent and it's going to be right on the money. Now that we've got the ingredients down, let's get to the mixing. If you're reaching for that whisk attachment, forget it. If you over aerate that dough, when you try to bake that cookie, it's going to puff up, it's going to deflate, you're going to get this weird shell on the outside. They're not the cookies that you're looking for, trust me. Get rid of that whisk and grab the paddle attachment instead. You want to cream the butter and sugar at low to medium speed just until the butter and sugar come together and that you don't see sugar granules. Same with the dry ingredients. Mix until the dough just comes together. Now let's talk about the chocolate. If you use cheap, waxy chocolate, you're going to end up with a cheap, waxy, crappy tasting cookie. So the chocolates that you should use are chocolates that you would eat on its own. So if you like dark chocolate, use dark chocolate. If you like milk chocolate, use milk chocolate. If you want to step it up, you can use wafers, you can get bars. We use four kinds of different chocolate that goes from milk to 72%. It makes the cookie way more interesting than just one single flavor of chocolate. Now you're ready to bake your cookies. Don't just put random globs into your baking pan. You're gonna end up with burnt cookies, raw cookies, cookies that are gigantic, cookies that are tiny. Instead, I recommend using an ice cream scoop. That way, you're going to scoop the same amount of dough every single time, so all your cookies are gonna be consistent. If you've done all of these things right, you're gonna have a cookie that's uniform in size, ooey and gooey, packed with chocolate, nice chewy texture. It's that perfect chocolate chip cookie that you've been dreaming about. 